Hey everybody, welcome to Income Mob. Today we are going to cover what is Solana and how it works. Make sure to watch the video till the end to get complete information about Solana in this one video alone. Solana is a highly functional open source project that implements a new layer one blockchain that is permissionless and fast. Solana was founded in 2017 by Anatoly Yakovenko, a former Qualcomm executive, with the goal of scaling capacity beyond what is currently possible with popular blockchains while keeping prices low. Solana implements a new hybrid consensus model that combines a one-of-a-kind proof-of-history algorithm with a lightning-fast synchronization engine, which is a version of proof-of-stake. As a result, the Solana network may theoretically process more than 710,000 transactions per second without the need for scaling solutions. The third-generation blockchain architecture developed by Solana is intended to make smart contracts and decentralized application development easier. Decentralized finance systems and non-fungible token marketplaces are supported by the project. So, what makes Solana unique? Solana's ambitious design attempts to solve the blockchain trilemma in a unique way, a concept articulated by Ethereum developer Vitalik Buterin. Decentralization, security, and scalability are the three key issues that developers confront when constructing blockchains, as described in this trial. Because blockchains can only deliver two of the three benefits at any given moment, it is often assumed that developers are forced to compromise one of the qualities in favor of the other two. The Solana blockchain platform has proposed a hybrid consensus mechanism that prioritizes speed above decentralization. Solana is a one-of-a-kind initiative in the blockchain market due to its novel blend of proof-of-stake and proof-of-history. In general, the more and better a blockchain scalability is determined by the number of transactions per second it can accommodate. However, time differences and more capacity slow down decentralized blockchains, implying that additional nodes confirming transactions and timestamps takes longer. In a word, Solana's design tackles this problem by selecting a single leader node based on the proof-of-stake method for message sequencing between nodes. As a result, the Solana network benefits, decreasing workload and increasing throughput despite the lack of a centralized and exact time source. Also, by hashing the output of one transaction and using it as the input of the next, Solana creates a chain of transactions. Solana's main consensus mechanism is named after this history of transactions, proof of history, a principle that enables for greater scalability of the protocol, which boosts usability. So, how does Solana works? Proof of history is the heart of the Solana protocol, a series of computations that produce a digital record confirming that an event occurred on the network at any point in time. It can be presented as a cryptographic clock that gives a timestamp to every network transaction, as well as a data structure that can be added to it easily. The Tower Byzantine Fault Tolerance Algorithm which is an optimized variant of the practical Byzantine fault tolerance protocol, is used in proof of history. It is used by Solana to reach an agreement. The tower BFT keeps the network secure and operational, while also serving as an additional tool for transaction validation. Proof of history can also be thought of as a high-frequency verifiable delay function (PDF), a triple function setup, evaluation, and verification that generates unique and reliable results. VDF maintains the network in order by confirming that blockmakers have given the network adequate time to go forward. Solana employs a 256-bit secure hash algorithm, SHA-256, which consists of a collection of proprietary cryptographic functions that produce a 256-bit result. The network samples the number and SHA-256 hashes on a regular basis, providing real-time data based on the set of hashes stored on central processing units. This sequence of hashes can be used by Solana validators to record a specific piece of data that was created before the generation of a specific hash index. After this particular piece of data is inserted, the timestamp for transactions is created. To accomplish the promised high TPS and block generation times, all nodes on the network must have cryptographic clocks to keep track of events rather than waiting for other validators to authenticate transactions. Some downsides of Solana. If you're still concerned about whether Solana is a worthy investment and whether you should buy it, the decision is yours. Even with its advantages, Solana, like every other crypto project, has flaws. First and foremost, although being able to compete with high-end blockchain projects, the Solana blockchain is still vulnerable to centralization due to the limited number of blockchain validators. Anyone on the network 
to become a Solana validator. However, doing so is challenging due to the high computational power required. Furthermore, the protocol still refers to itself as a beta version of the mainnet, implying that there may be bugs and errors. Despite these challenges, Solana remains one of the largest crypto ecosystems and appears to be on the right track for growth. If it is little difficult for you to understand about Solana, you can also watch this video twice so that you can understand about this topic even better. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you do, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more amazing cryptocurrency and NFT related content. You can also check out my full guide for non fungible tokens in detail. If you want to know everything about NFT in depth, it is there in the end screen of this video. So, I will see you in the next video. Take care.